Hello everyone, I am TG. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Drinking Game Edition. We are just about to start our first mission here on Eden Prime. I'm gonna go find a Prothean beacon. So to review the drinking game rules, you will drink every time that a squad member gets in my way, every time that someone uses the name Shepard as a sentence, every time Shepard says I should go, every time we're forced to ride in an elevator, every time someone in a cutscene has a gun that doesn't make any sense, every time Hackett says hack it out, and every time that someone is racist. All right. That is a good question, Caden. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. So you can't actually shoot them. <laughs> Seem to have surprised Caden. All targets down. They won't hurt you or anything. Over here we've got a nice little upgrade kit. And something that I'm not gonna use. But a codex and a little bit of credit. Figured it was starting to blizzard outside, so what better time to play some video games? Oh god, what happened here? That is a good question, Jenkins. They're they're charred. And kind of smoking. Not even just charred, they're like emanating smoke. Oh. Don't walk over them. Jenkins. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Right, we got a level up there. Let's see. Might as well get a barrier. because I like overload which we'll get when we unlock electronics here at the next point okay, I'm gonna switch over to assault rifles I just handle them a lot better Ah, 
actually they're pretty cool armor. Better go save Ash. Better remember that I'm an adept. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Not gonna lie, I, I find Ash a little attractive. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Might as well come with. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. First, tell me about these Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime, none that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! Alright, new assault rifles. Let's open some things quick. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. That's creepy. Alright, we have levels up for Ashley. Overkill and shield boost. Definitely health regen for sure. Alright, let's take a look at our equipment. You know, I think I will try to stick with the pistol for now at least, just to get it to be more of a adept playthrough. We can give Ash the assault rifle though. Do you have any bots? Oh, hammer head. For sure. Pistol. Yeah, might as well. Keep 
forgetting Caden doesn't have health regen. Yet. So, fun note, when you see a NPC, like a squad member, do that, that little, huh, that means that they have something to say. Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. Random, if you, like, depending on your gender, actually depends on what is said just now and who has to say it. Random side note. Crazy. Better pistol? Well, a little bit. I totally go for damage over accuracy, which is probably not the best way to play, but that's what I do. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Sounds like a plan, Nihilus. Oh. <sighs> I almost forgot. Here. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Yep. It's a good place for an ambush. It Keep your guard up. Sure is, kid. There, there they are. My least favorite enemy of any game I've ever played. Oh God, they're still alive. Space zombies. What did the Geth do to them? They're space zombies, Ashley. That's what they did to them. They made them space zombies. So much. Are they dead? Are we done now? All targets down. Thank you, Ashley. Now we know what those spikes are for. Turning our own dead against us. Yep. We sure do. They're the absolute worst. Alright, let's see. Level up. And get a shield boost. Yes, electronics. Love overload. Assault rifles. Got the equipment. Anything good for you, Ash? Nope. But I could still a better assault rifle. Oh yeah, we like Scorpion. Not sure how I feel about the design. It's not terrible though. Uh, cool down reduction as well. Door. It's closed. 
security locks engaged. And thank you, Ashley. First experience with decryption. I actually prefer the console version of this, but that's what I first started on, so I'm a little biased. Fumes. Thank the maker. Dragon Age reference. Close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Sorry, buddy, that's a little dramatic. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. If you're gonna go renegade, you could totally punch him out, but I'm not gonna do that. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Manuel, please. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. The darkness of eternity. He kind of cracks me up. I'm going to call shot because he left with a shotgun, not an assault rifle. Sarah. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. Existence. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. No, Nihilus! Oh. What is that? Off in the distance! It's a ship! Look at the size of it! I don't think you need to specify what you meant, Caden.
on now? I think we got him, Commander. Ah, oh, thanks, game. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took mm -hmm. care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me things. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Creepy. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, <laughs> we're just a bunch of farmers. So These guys close. are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time, I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This is where the charm comes in handy. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Ashley's about to rip your head off. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. So Look. close. Our electronics, but the mini game's the same, which is kind of sad. That changes in the sequels. All right, let's take a look at this equipment quick. Ooh, much better. Combat sensor. Commander, it's Nihilus. Yes, I, I see him. Thank you. We have a flaming upgrade kit. Go see Nihilus. Poor Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! You have got to be more careful. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. 
I am sorry I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Say what? I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? Yeah. They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... How suspicious of you. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. So you're You trash. survived because you're lazy? This sounds more Paragon, but the sarcasm that just drips off of this response is fantastic. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. It landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Got anything useful? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here <laughs> trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? She's really gonna rip your head off. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Charm. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, 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 I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Get home, sir. High explosives. Quick, before we get attacked. Because I'll forget.
actually eat games with me. That was awesome. We have finished the first part of Eden Prime. I'm going to cut off the episode here, and when we come back next time, we will use the train, go over to the other platform, and go and get that Prothean beacon. I hope you join me for the next episode. <laughs>